Good morning, second grade math students. How are you doing today? It's good to be with you. I miss you all still so much. Okay, and here we are today, and we're still working with uh, place value in this unit of study. And today we're going to learn about expanded form, word form, and standard form. And this is all information that you have already had quite a lot of practice with, especially in those of you in my class. When we do our daily morning number, we always wrote the number in expanded form. Okay, so some new vocabulary for some of you might be standard form. And here is an example of what standard form looks like, and it's the number form. Okay, say standard form. Right, and then we have expanded form. And I always like to teach expanded form about thinking about like baking bread in the oven when it's expanding. And that's what you're doing to this number. You're expanding it and you're putting it into its place value. So you're putting it into the hundreds, the tens, and the ones. Okay, and this is what it looks like. And I always like to put the equality symbol, the equal sign, because this is equal to what's on one side of the equation is always equal to what's on the other and that's why you have the equal symbol so i always like to put equals in what the number form is and then word form and that takes practice to and a lot of writing and one place you can look is in your place value chart that you all picked up at the beginning of the closures you have your hundreds hundreds, tens, and ones, and you can use this chart to help you spell hundred, ten, and one. And I will send out another form with this email and this video uh, that you can look at and access all the numbers in one place. And I haven't looked through the workbook yet, but perhaps there is a place you can find the numbers in here as well. And if there is, I will send out that page. Okay? And so 125 in expanded form is written 100 plus 20 plus 5. In word form, it's written 100. And we took the word right from here. And then 20 is one of those new words. And then it's hyphenated, which is goes in between the 20 and the 5. And then 5 ones. Five. So let's read it. 100 comma 25. Okay, all right, and so let's go to the page. It's 389, and I have the I can statement right here. It's 9-4, lesson 9-4. I can read and write three-digit numbers in expanded form, standard form, and word form. Okay, and what you need to remember is standard form means the number the number, the three-digit number, and you already have a lot of practice with that. Expanded form, you've had some practice with expanded form when we did use the strategy partial sums. You put it into the place value, one hundreds, I mean a hundred, in hundreds, twenty, a hundreds, tens, and ones. Hundreds, tens, and ones, expanded form. And then word form, and word form is just going to take some practice. Um, to practice writing out the words. It takes the longest, but it's important to know how to spell them all and how to write them. Okay, all right, let's get started. You will need your whiteboard for this activity and your workbook. And it says, what is another way to write the number 231? And then go ahead and explain. What is another way to write? So we're not using place value blocks today to do a model. We are actually writing it out. So one way is the standard form. So down here, do another way. Or challenge yourself and do both ways, both other ways that I just taught you. Okay. So 221 could equal 200 
plus 30 plus 1. And if you write it out, you write the word 2 first, and then you look at your place value chart to spell 100. 100. Okay, and I believe there's a comma there. And then the tens, and it's 30 and then hyphenated one, 31. Okay, this is standard form, word form, expanded form. And those are your three vocabulary words for today. Standard form, expanded form, and word form. Okay. So let's keep practicing. Turn the page, and we will do the guided practice together. And write the number in expanded form, then write it in standard form. And then number one is going to be your trickiest one because there are zero tens in number one. So they're showing you place value blocks and they don't have any tens. So they have three hundreds in number one on page 390. <clears throat> Excuse me. They have three hundreds <clears throat> and then five ones. <clears throat> so because you're missing the tens, the tens is going to show a zero in the tens. So when you write it in expanded form, you have two choices. You can show the tens value as a zero, if you need to have that placeholder there, so you can visualize it better, or you can show it like this. And when you do it this way, you already know that the zero isn't there. But some people need the place value holder, and that's what a zero is for a place value holder, even in the expanded form, and that's okay. At this point in time, in second grade, that's okay. So once again, you can use the zero as a place value holder, because that's what it is. It's a place value holder. It shows that there are zero tens in this number. Or you can go ahead and write it like this. And in this case, it's assumed that there are no tens. It's a zero. Okay, so both of these equal 205. Okay, all right. So go ahead and work through those. There will be another one of those on the following page, page 4. Okay, and one more guided practice. Write the number in expanded form, then write it in word form. So you count up the hundreds first. I see one, two, three, four, five. And then you count up the tens. And I see one ten. Five hundreds, and I see one ten, and I see four ones. So what is this number? And you can also use your place value blocks to do the models for this lesson. And then they want you to write it in word form. So get your, your place value chart to spell the hundred correctly. And we're going to write the word five hundred. And then there's a one. We don't write 110. Let's think about what this number is together with the ones. It's going to be 14. 514. Okay. 
Because in the English language, you don't say four tens. I mean, one ten and four ones. Some other languages in Spanish, maybe you count like that. In French, May and Cora probably know how to do that. Okay, 514. Okay, we have teens in the English language, so we're going to have to be able to write all the teens. Okay. Right, and the other tricky ones will be 11 and 12. Okay, and those will both be on the chart that I send out with this video. Okay, go ahead and finish page 391 and 392. And I will see you again tomorrow for the next lesson. Right? Remember, I can read and write three-digit numbers in expanded form, standard form, and word form. So here are your new vocabulary, expanded form, standard form, and word form. All right, take care, and I will see you again soon.